True. True. <laughs> Alright, with that being said, we are gonna be jumping into game one. Zach Hi, Nelly bro. said, Hey buddy, uh I'm I'm not gonna start out with Sonic. I'm not gonna start with Cloud or Ganondorf. I'm gonna pull out the hero. Why? I I, I do not know. I just don't understand what's going on with this map. Zach has been playing as many characters as possible. Uh, earlier when he fought Beast, he actually went Samus. Uh, game one, and that did not go great for him. Beast actually showed that he understands the matchup really well, and uh, he shows that Charizard's really able to deal with a lot of things that the Samus gets away with against a lot of other characters. I think especially recovery against Charizard is going to be really difficult. I think Hero's recovery is extremely telegraphed, extremely linear, able to be snuffed out by Fire Breath so easily. He's a teeny tiny boy! Oh my god, the motorcycle's outside of my home. Excuse me. He's such a tiny little boy! He's dead. <laughs> oh, the flak, not quite a... Uh... She went for back throw up tilt, and then back throw back in. And That's he's dead! The stock? Oh, okay. but he's dead! His stock is gone! Yeah, he's dead. He's dead, dead. Uh, Zack is just kind of, uh... I don't know if this is cathartic for Zack, oh being like... That's yeah, that, mu that must be cathartic. Hero, okay. God bless Bugs the Journey for coining the term carnival characters. Because I feel like that's the only way to kind of describe this hero right now. He is so hot and cold. You know? Yeah. Sometimes, I I really appreciate the fact that uh mm -hmm. oh sorry just a friggin' something just blew in my face one second I'll be right back okay yeah uh, that being said this is an amazing leaf food beast right now this game is gonna end so quickly I do not know what that up smash was I don't even think it could cover that far ahead. I love that up B under the stage. Such a good way to show it can get a little bit of extra damage. Zack was definitely not anticipating that at all. Beast, I feel like, especially, he's so comfortable with his movement with Pokemon training. That being said, he mashes out an up B because the <laughs> Beast does anything well. He likes that Charizard up B out of shield. And I hate to say the fact that despite having initially a two stock lead, this is completely within the realm of possibility for Zack numbers. Hero, I mean, I don't want to say that character cheats, but he can definitely pull stuff out, out of nowhere. Uh, uh, uh. Devin, did you see that? Devin, I hope you saw what just happened. Yeah, if, if, I saw Be it. if Beast loses, oh, okay, thank, thank goodness. If Beast loses the game, after letting him live, after the complaint, at a hundred percent, I would have lost it. <sighs> that being said, I do, despite the fact that the percentages were so close, I still think all of the momentum was definitely in Beast's favor. He started off really strong, and he was able to clutch it out in the end. I think uh, there were just some unfortunate stocks on, on Zach's, on, excuse me, on Beast's part, but he lost them a little bit earlier than he would have liked to, such as from, uh, such as from the snooze uh, into the F smash, and I already forgot how he lost his other stock. That being said, I feel like Zack is going to go one of his, you know, million other pocket characters. He's definitely going to be going something else. Uh, so, so I really don't even know what to expect. I can't even tell him what kind of adjustments he needs to make. Because at this point, he is so comfortable using so many different characters. Anyway, like guys, but um, as we are approaching the, the climax of the evening, I just want to say to everybody that, you know, thank you guys so much for, for watching uh, thus far. We still have a couple of weeks. Hopefully exciting. I hope to God that they're exciting games. And the only way to find out is, is to keep on watching. <laughs> what was that? I muttered, I muttered, God damn it. Because you saw, because you saw a cloud? Yeah, cloud's well, pretty bright. You saw Samus? I saw Samus. What? Wait, you know what? I have faith. I have faith. 
I know Beast. I know Beast. I know he's gonna press up. He had a shield. I know he's gonna hold forward. He's gonna gun up too. He's gonna press a different button every single time. And he's gonna get a whole lot of damage for it. Yeah, so the, in the last set, this was the, the one counter pick that uh, Zach was able to actually win a match on. Uh, he was Sonic though. He wasn't playing. Uh, he wasn't playing Samus. Mm. So I don't know if that was a part of the decision to go. Um... Ooh, baby. Okay, that was pretty good. That was a, that was a nice, an uh... excellent job of like tapping into the rhythm of a player that he's able to play, get away with playing so aggressive. He's able to call out your jumps. He's able to time his aerials really, really well. Um, that being said, wow, what a lead for you, Zach, right now. <laughs> Taking that, never mind. <laughs> no, never mind. Lead's gone. Um, I'd argue like Beast is maybe like one of the best players out there for catching you in the air. He is so comfortable challenging you, um, you know, in the air. Oh. He understands what you want. He understands what you're looking for. I don't think he was deserving of the spike there, but you know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. That was uh, that was very unfortunate. You can see what Beast was going for. He just wanted to make this set as short as possible. I respect it. Yeah, getting a little, you know, you don't you don't want to let Zach live for too long. Obviously, you want to you want to take him to the last stock as soon as possible. His juggle right now is fantastic. He is catching Zach on all of his mix. He's catching him all all these like big reverses and reverse bees. Um. Yeah, Zach might just want to maybe like simplify his landing options a little bit because because all all Beast is doing right now is he's waiting. He is waiting for Zach to try to mix up his movement with his charge shot, and and he got it once again. Oh dear, he threw that out. It must have been a blade beam that he tried to shoot off. Yeah, something like that. He might have thought that he was like facing the other way. Uh, regardless, still totally possible for Beast right now. Good use of the platform to sort of uh, position yourself outside of uh, Cloud's ability to jump in on you. Um, I like that. Ooh, very well placed back here. Nice mirrors. Once we return to the real world, we'll still host Wi Fi monkeys. Okay. Occasionally, yeah. Uh, presumably after Xenosaga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unless, like, there's another commitment we have. But that's unlikely. We're going to try to keep doing the fight clubs as well on Sundays, but the idea is basically if we're doing the Xeno Saga, we're probably going to do the monthly, or the, the Wi-Fi monthly, instead of doing fight club. Samus is back here. That move is powerful. Yeah, we made it uh, super strong. We have a really good way to kill. It is a strong, independent back here, okay? Yeah. That back here stands up for itself. And it don't need no fair, but it appreciates the fact that the fair is there. Okay, I don't know what's happening outside of my home. I hear ambulances. I hear motorcycles. I hate New York City. I hate Brooklyn. I hate it. <gasps> no, 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 no. I didn't say it. What did you say? What did you say? I didn't say the thing that gets How me kicked out of the voice call. I didn't. I mean, uh, okay, as long as you're not meaning. But yeah, no. My neighborhood is getting so loud. I'm, I'm you know, I'm don't hear it. Stuff like Nebraska. You don't hear it. That's fortunate because I should do. All I hear is wee woo, wee woo. I wonder, I wonder what it's like in Nebraska. Just peaceful and quiet and a bunch of farmland. What happens in Nebraska? What even is Nebraska? Coyotes eat your babies. I'm gonna go look up Nebraska on the map. I wanna see which part of the country it's in. Alright, Zach's going Sonic on Smashville. Oh, uh, Nebraska, it's like in the center? Yeah. Wow, I think that's why they call it the Midwest. Fascinating. <gasps> because it's in the middle of the West! Yo! Congratulations. It's west of DC! That's why that's considered the West Coast. Man. What? D don't worry about it. Anyhow, sure. he's gonna be going right back to Pokemon Trainer. He doesn't he doesn't wanna, you know, <laughs> he doesn't wanna play him. Anymore Cloud doesn't want to meet such unfortunate early stocks anymore. Yeah, Smashville is an excellent stage pick through this, by the way. Yeah, he has the lead, but he's not gonna let. He's not gonna sit on it. I, I love the way that Beast like treats that play, especially with Charizard. Um, like the one out of five downers that he goes for end up connecting, and once they do, like that's your entire stock. It's just 
gone. It disappears totally. He had the right idea, but unfortunately he didn't yeah. position himself um, far yeah. enough to the left side of the stage. If you let it rip at least a frame or two sooner, he probably would have gotten the kill too. I'm not even mad. Ooh, maybe. The people will talk enough about like how long. <gasps> Sonic almost got blasted in the face, and then he spin dashed away. He just neutral get up, caught him not shielding, and up smash. That was the most beast exchange I have ever seen. <gasps> no. Zach losing his second. Oh stock. no. Okay. I mean, good for beast, right? Like, like this is exactly what he wants, Zach. You're gonna have to really pull a miracle here to be able to come back from this. I'm sure. I'm sure Beast wanted this. I don't know if this is the way. Most people would say not like this when they get that kind of stock. <laughs> and I can totally imagine Beast being like, "Yeah, all right, whatever." Oh my God, thank God. No, we take those. If somebody has things, you just gotta hold that. You hold that. You know, you do the best that you can. Good use of the spring, just to sort of wait out the angel platter and bone. Um, really, really smart. I like that a lot. You see, you see, like a lot of Mega Man's doing the same thing. As well, they set up the up B right there so that when you drop down, you have to either like burn a resource as you're coming down, or you know, you're just gonna be sprung up right into the air. That being said, 82%, you know, we could be seeing a deadly kill confirm at any point, a down throw into up B um, at any moment here. You don't wanna be stuck on the ledge against Ivy's score, uh, but Zach is able to finally cross up Beast enough times and get back on. So Beast is actually able to time an up smash to beat out Sonic's uh, spin dash. Mm -hmm. Like, just straight up beat it out. The side it was very impressive. It, you know, it reaches out to the side enough. It's that super unlikely to happen again, but he's going for it. Like, every once in a while, you can see him trying to charge it up to get it ready. He's going to go for the flavor. I just feel it. I feel it in the air. Never no. mind. You don't, you don't hit charge or shield unless you're ready to, to, to get Die. up smashed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that, specifically. Wow. I mean, compared to all the sets that we've had, this is definitely the fastest paced one. Um, so, so you know, it's, it's a nice, exciting change of pace, um, I've got to say. I haven't seen Zet go the same character two times in a row. Maybe we did last set, but <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be staying Sonic. I don't know if he's going to pull something new out. I guess we'll, I guess we'll just see. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I really don't have a whole lot to say here. I think Zach has been getting a little bit too aggressive as soon as he loses. Why? The what? This is going Fox. <laughs> I guess they're trying to spot. Can you tell the fact that, like, I don't know what to say here? Alright, so Fox versus Dr. Mario. Alright. The only thing I gotta say about this is... Fox, in theory, should be able to body Dr. Mario. You have a character with maybe some of the best mobility in the game, fighting against one of the worst. I wanna I, see laser Fox. camping. I wanna see old school laser camping. I wanna see... I wanna see Beast running to the other side of the stage, shooting laser five times, and then running right back to the other side. Did you say this? But I've seen some, like, really good dogs. God bless Pink Duck. I'm not even talking about Pink Duck, Jay. Although he's definitely, like, one of them. i just seen some really good dogs on Wi-Fi, so I could totally imagine seeing a, uh... Watching Zack actually do, like, really well. It's because, like, Doc is a character that has, like, a really good advantage state. He has some really good buttons. His buttons are ridiculous! Nail, up B out of shield, his up air is silly, his back air, that F smash almost killing from center of stage. You know, his smashes are pretty much safe on shield, uh, but unfortunately his up smash sends up like that disgusting angle that you know, Jeez kind of does as well, so it becomes yeah. like, super easy to DI, DI it's it. It's stronger. It's a, it's a stronger move technically, but it is uh, it does send you an off lane. Down, yes, down, 
Yeah, Dr. Mario's down B is kind of absurdly strong. Uh, the best thing to do, honestly, is just to not get hit by it and try to punish you afterwards. Ooh, okay. Well, I respect well, that. That was excellent. I love the usage of it. Yeah, no, I like that. That was nice. Missed the tech, just to cover the tech roll, and Beast doesn't go fully. He just stays nice and patient after all. That's going to be the lead grab, but is not able to get the down smash in time to be able to punish it. Just a little bit too afraid of getting hit. Wow, what a mix up on Fox's shield like that. And I'd argue Fox maybe doesn't have like the best out of shield, especially against Dr. Mario. All of his stuff feels so safe. Oh my goodness. He almost died to that too. Like. <laughs> Into back hit. That's definitely Doc's one of Doc's like most potent confirms. So scary. P Pill is like arguably like a top ten top five projectile in this game. The angle that it sends out all the possible confirms from it. Doc Mario is built for that pill. He would be nothing without it. Yeah, no, Zach is uh really doing super well. Each time that uh each time that Beast has gone with like these weird like counter picks, he's been able to actually really take advantage of it. And beat him with another weird counter. Yeah, that's going to be the jab lock. Starts to get the reset with the down tilt. Already dealing 39%, but not able to do much more than that. He has to get the juggle. Dr. Mario does have a lot of really good landing options, but I feel like a lot of them are extremely committal, except for the back hit, which doesn't necessarily have like the most generous hitbox in the world. Zach was ready for that. Yeah. Yeah, all these frame traps from Fox are really, really scary. Um, Zach could definitely afford to press a couple more buttons in disadvantage, I feel like, especially Uppy from, from his neutral air dodges, um, especially as, like, Fox tries to jump into you. That being said, Beast, he wants that nail up smash. He wants it bad. You know, he definitely, he's been looking for it this whole set, this whole match so far. Yeah, so Dr. Mario's down B is only really punishable if he's a certain distance above the uh, above the stage. Otherwise, you have to hit him with an aerial as soon as he pops out. And it's not that much time to do that, really. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that Beast respected the uh, smash though. He wanted to get like maybe an optimal punish or at least get back onto center stage. He didn't just want to you know, throw out a bland get-up attack. Um, this is so scary. Fox could die at any point. Dr. Mario, he swings so heavy. His up smash, his, his back is... Yeah, he's taunting like, yeah, whatever. I don't care about this. And that's dead. No, it's not dead. That move doesn't yeah, really well with knockback, but it does have an absurd amount of set knockback, especially at the corner. It'll kill you as early as 30%. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect to see a Dr. Mario in Grand Finals, but you know what? I'm here for it. It's nostalgic is... of Pink Dr. J. Bink, uh, Beast isn't staying his main for whatever reason. I don't really, I'm not really sure like what the deal with that is. Um, and I know these are characters that Beast has like played on and off between Smash 4 and uh, Ultimate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he just keeps like kind of switching around, doing different things. I respect it. I wish. Uh, also, despite like all the the crazy near timeouts, it's all, well, almost like none of these, you know, which is kind of insane to me. Mm -hmm. and it's only 11:30, so we're actually finishing almost half an hour early. Oh, God, we're we gonna get a black elite set. And Zach is only gonna play Sonic on Kalos for the rest of the set. E maybe. It's possible. If it happens, I mean, it's, it, it's Beast counter pick. Uh, apparently, uh, yeah, we're going back to PS2. That is the classic Beast stage. Let's see who they're going. They tried, didn't you? I would assume Zach is going Sonic unless he's trying to prove a point. Wait a second. Oh, but I never asked you. What? How do you? Zach is going he... Samus, by the way. Godspeed to Zach. That's his, that's going to be his rotation. He's going to win a game. He's going to go to Samus. He's going to lose that game. He's going to go to Doctor Mario or whatever. I'm assuming the rotation doesn't end right here. Mm -hmm. Because Beast is going trainer. Also, what were you going to ask him? Yeah. How do you feel about DDD? Wait, I'm sorry. About who? DDD? Yes. How do you feel about him? I feel like DDD is really buffed by Wi-Fi. I feel like he has some matchups he really excels in. Um, but he has others that he kind of gets completely stomped in. And he needs like a really good secondaries to cover those uh, those matchups to make him worthwhile. I meant, I meant personally, like love him, hate him. Oh, I like the character. Gordo. I like the character. I like the I like how he plays in this game. I like everything about him except for the fact that Gordos uh, are kind of just very susceptible to being. Yeah, yeah. Game yeah. five. Game five. 
uh, you know, V's finally going back to uh, Charlie's side. PS2 is going to be a little bit tough for him to like break space against Sp Samus. I feel like she does an excellent job of sort of maneuvering around the platforms and just sort of staying outside of Pokemon Trainer's range. But Beast, yeah, he's able to do break space so effectively. Being trapped on ledge against Charizard is so scary. You, you can get, you know, your stock stolen back here, F tilt. Um, I feel a considerable. Something we've seen from Beast a lot is that he's using up smash to kind of trap Zack when he tries to cross up, if he reads correctly. Uh, up smash is a super important tool in this matchup. Mm -hmm. It scoops. Uh, every time that Zack unsuccessfully lands on his shield, it's gonna be really, really big. Catching jumps as well. What did yep. that just trade with? That was up smash. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel like, like I feel like Zack should be dead right now. No, I'm uh, <laughs> All right, good read. I didn't know I was commentating with Mario. Wow! Yeah, I've never right. heard a more visceral wow. <laughs> just, just come out of. Very nice. Yeah, Zach's <laughs> loading the juggles. Definitely have to, you know, have those unlocked against like, Charizard. Good catch on that starter, put back here. Just threw out his quickest burst option. The game is starting to run away from Beast. Yeah, Beast is a little too hungry to try to get like in, and he's not like taking the time that he needs to actually like try to set up the proper approach. And two good back airs. Uh, but not quite. Cheap. Yeah, I think he was expecting uh, Zach to try to do, try to try to cover a little bit further away from the stage. He didn't sure give it to him. Smash is able to two for him. I want to look into the hitbox and just see if it hits under the ledge. That being said, back, back here, you know, Samus's back here has just been so effective in stealing out these stocks. Uh, this past the, the past set rather. Ooh, almost killing, but that definitely killed. Two really good back-to-back -back hits from Beast, almost completely bringing it back. That's all he needed. He just needed one missed tech, and he's able to bring the game all the way back from a stock deficit. And as soon as he gets a falling nose, as soon as he gets a falling forward, how much more damage is he going to be able to land? However, I, 50, oh, 60, the ladder! Completely even. Is it about? Is it? Oh my gosh! If Samus's hitbox is a little more to the right, that would have been it. He needs to stop pressing buttons as he lands, because all Beast is doing is just getting under him and 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 you know hitting him with up air forward. Say that, but like, uh, Beast is in a position where he can definitely take the game. But if he makes one mistake, Samus could definitely kill him. Okay. Okay, I, I appreciate I, the patience. I appreciate the. Oh no, why would you kill him stage control like that, bro? Okay, he's oh, back. He's back. Has enough time to still be Ooh. able to. Just barely living. No! <laughs> that was that such a good charge game. shot. Why did he go for Fox last game? That's a good question. Uh, I'm not sure. I can hear you. <laughs> oh, uh, settle in for set two, guys. B buckle up. Buckle up, buckaroos. <laughs> the time of your life. I mean, this is what happens when you, uh... I don't know if sandbagging is the right word. But this is what happens, like, when you don't, um... When you don't take every set seriously and you give up matches. Is, especially, like, against a competent player... I'd say, honestly, like, a good player. Like, Zach. Uh, Zach knows how to play the game well. He knows his game plan. And he knows how to press his advantage fairly well. So, like, if you make a mistake, you're gonna lose. Beast is much better at pressing his advantage than most players are, but Zach's no slouch at Zack is gonna go Sonic, isn't he? That's a good question. I don't know because the uh, the reset hasn't shown up yet. It just showed up. All right, they both checked in. You know what? No, I'm not gonna complain. I mean, I'm gonna slap myself on the face. Ow! And 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 you know we're gonna we're gonna power through it. <laughs> I wanna go make dumplings. <laughs> you wanna make dumplings? I want to reheat, reheat dumplings. Ah. Yeah, I, I ate dinner really early today, so I'm actually hungry now. Mm. Do you make your dumplings, woke up. or do you buy them, like, uh, a pound of frozen? Huh? Do, do you, like, make your own dumplings? Or do no, you I'm them? not that... I'm not that crazy. 
I'm they, sure can, they can be like different. You have to make them in bulk, right? You have to just make a whole bunch at once and just freeze. Yeah, you have to. I've seen like people make dumplings, and it's like, yeah, you gotta make like ten pounds of meat or your vegetables, depending on what kind of dumplings you're dealing with, and just get so many pot, so many uh, wrappers, and just do it for like two to three hours. Yeah, it's a good activity. It's a, it's a fantastic workout. And you know what? If you have a significant other, if you have somebody that you really love in your life, it's a great way just to spend time with them. Because honestly, I feel like there is no more intimate experience than getting, you know, all hot and bothered making dumplings. You know, you get sweaty, you really put your arm into it, roll it out, fill it up with meat, and, and at one point both of you will start losing your minds progressively because of the mon like the mundanity of the task, the monotony of it. And yeah. you know what? It's a real bunny experience. You guys get to see your true selves uh, in the form in the mirror of the dumpling. And dumplings will show you your true self. All right, but we're actually going into game one of set two, guys. This is what we get for not immediately talking about uh, <laughs> the start of the last game. This is our fault. <laughs> Jeff, I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. But you know what? You have the dumpling to look forward to. I have a little bit of leftover Turkish food to left look uh, look forward to. And right off the bat, Beats. Beast. <laughs> I just called him Beats. I still have food on my mind. Yo, uh, Beast? Beast is What's starting off so strong. Uh, but yeah, no, not enough frame advantage just to be able to convert that up into just about anything. Once again, Beast. Like, he assumes stage control so quickly. He forces people to the corner. Zach with one more up B. Oh, I dare you. Do it. Yeah. Well, there was definitely a set where Zach was just like, I'm just going to up you over and over again. You're not going to stop this. And his opponent wasn't able to stop it, and that was just the way that the match went. Good use of the review of it, so just to drift under the platform a little bit and get outside mm. of Charlie's hood zone, to hit you with a forward, and that being said, this is that clean beast stock to take. You can kind of tell Beast is like trying to like play this level seriously before. You know what? If I were him, I'd be a little bit annoyed. I'd be a little bit pissed off, but... I mean, yeah, I would be too, honestly. Like, he managed to do the turnaround, he managed to make the comeback, and then he flubbed right at the end, when he had basically just brought the entire game back and almost won the set right then and there. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna kill Samus. She's a heavy this girl! Is, yeah, you know? this is a, she's a heavy girl. This is Smashville. Town City, but yeah. She fought bigger dragons. Mm-hmm. Is Ripley a dragon? Ripley is something. Something. That being said, I feel more than enough to be able to kill Town and City. You know, despite the fact that it has a pretty high ceiling, it doesn't have really, really um, wide horizontal blast zones. So yeah. you'll definitely be able to get a whole lot more horizontal kills. Zach, oh stop God. mashing. Stop it. Stop yeah, it. Yeah, he took 30% for that. He took 47% for that. 47% and he's off stage against Charlie. Episode, and Beast said, I'm angry. That's, when Beast does that? that yeah. I can't believe Zach got away with all that, by the way. <laughs> oh, with all the uppies? Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, she has... She doesn't have the greatest aerial mobility, but she's, like, floaty enough that she has enough control over her drop speed. You can but make yeah. it definitely, like, ambiguous enough to the point that if your opponent is not completely prepared, they will overcommit too soon. Yeah, and then you can just do another up B. And it's destroyed enough where you could actually, like, scoop a lot of people with it. Really easily. Great Ivy Sword Charizard! Get blasted in the face twice in a row! Crazy how Zach like, has managed to bring this all the way back. He has the percent lead right now. Good use of the little charge shot. He has it for the entire game set. He has conditioned Beast to think that he's gonna go through fully charged ones. That is the first time I've seen an uncharged one, and he was able to convert that into a dash attack. That was such an excellent sequence on Zach Numbers' part. I hate Zach Numbers. <laughs> Why? It's really mean. No, I, I don't hate him. I just hate him. the fact you're calling him Zach Numbers. I don't want to say Zach. Do you Zach's want to call him Zach 67671? You know what? Just to spite you, I'm going to say Zach 67671. Are you calling Zach or Oh, no, no. Help him. Just Definitely me. You're, you're doing what he's asking, though. Well, I want to prove to him that in, in reality, in practicality, it, it doesn't sound as nice as it does. Just call him Zach zip code. Five digits. Wait, when did Beast get to 132%? When, when did this happen? 
when before Zach got killed, and after I told you to stop calling him Zach Numbers because he's disgusting. You know, we're gonna just call him Zach Twenty Seven because that's what his numbers add up to. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my personal hell. I'm kidding, this is not that bad, but this is actually pretty interesting overall, like the way that Zack is actually playing the matchup is pretty smart. Uh, he's trying to make it, he's trying to do that super keep away, which, you know, that's how you kind of got to play the matchup against someone like Beast. He's really good at rushing people down, he's really good at zone breaking, and he's really good at pressing advantage when he gets in. But, if he never breaks your zone, he can never kill you. <laughs> Lurk with the Wisdom, apparently Pokemon 27 is Sanshiro. We can call him Zack Sanshiro. Zack Shrew. Pretty sure Sanshiro is not the 67,000th Pokemon. Yeah, that's Pika Blue. Haha. Haha. Just watch out, kids! Pokemon! Uh. I don't know, I can't make a joke about rocks anymore because we've done most of them. And then now we're on Sword and Shields. Game two. Black can right. reset. Deep breath. Yeah. We got this. We're in it for the long haul. Beast right now, he is currently down a game. Goes back to his preferred stage of Pokemon Trainer, just as you mentioned, helping. Yeah. I did I tell you that you're really helpful? Just as oh, you man. did. Just... It's crazy. Also, the first person to say that. Also, Devin pointed out the really good point that the main reason, one of the reasons that uh, Beast probably likes the stage a lot, besides the fact that it's probably a comfort pick, is that it has a lot of options when he's running off the Pokemon Stadium 2 platform, particularly forward air. Uh, he can just do run off forward air, and that's a pretty good forward destroying the moon. Thank you, Devin, for pointing that out. And it's time, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, ooh! Oh, it's actually getting spicy with that. Am, down I, there. am I dropping some packets because I'm I'm lagging out a little bit? Uh, maybe. Hmm. Did you see that sick F smash from uh Beast? He did, but I saw it in two frames per second. Oh no. Yeah, I don't have a way to test this. I can I can restart it. Let me check the. Let me check this. Board. No, it's I think it's on my end. Well, with that being said, wow, this is. This is definitely a game. Um, that's all I have to call it. It's a game, guys. <laughs> back starting off strong. Beast, you know, swinging right back with his momentum. The way that he uses, you know, back throw into back air is just yeah. wild. Beast didn't have quite... He really ducked it with that with that grab. I want to imagine that was intentional on Beast's part. It's just like, I'm just going to grab. I'm yeah, just going yeah, yeah. to grab to duck the ball. I just know that there's a timeline with Beast has so much knowledge of his own character's hurt boxes that he's like, ah, oh, yes, I can, I can duck below the uncharged uh, shot of charged shot, and and with with my grab, facing the other. Now all of a sudden, it's a really even game. Yeah, again, he's. I feel like Beast could do a better job of like pressuring Zach when he puts himself in a corner. I think a lot of his approaches are aggressive. As, as all could be, right? He's just letting him go back there, shoot a couple of charge shots, and he's getting away with it because Beast just jumps in. He's, you know, dashing back. He's not, you know, going up and shielding. He He's making his movement really, really aggressive. However, that being said, he had a good idea with that back kill into back kill. Um, we're just slightly off on his execution. Wow, that sounds so far. Yeah, no, it doesn't... That move honestly does not look like it should be that disjointed when you look at it just straight up being used. Uh, normally when it doesn't hit anything, but then you see it like just you just hit see it whack someone in the face and it's like dang man, how far is this going? Can't help but feel but that F smash was kinda greedy. That was a weird option. He crossed up his shield with down in and tried to snuff out another option with uppy. That down would have definitely been it. Neutral. Oh man. That is yep, that. excellent. He has made his shield so tiny. Charizard barely has any more room to hide in there. Um, you know, just... Every time Charizard... Every time he does that, I get so frightened. Yeah, we haven't seen, like, any kind of actual reward uh, for 
he's throwing people off stage besides getting the back here. At least for I mean, he gets a little bit of damage. He gets he gets a good amount of damage. Um, and he gets the edge control, and he might be able to set up into a kill lady. Um, that being said, I like the use of jab. Very non-committal. Um, yeah. You wanted the, uh, the jab walk. Mm. Yeah, but even so, like, uh, I feel like jab is like such an easy option to just get out of. That if if you had Zach mm. teched out or something, he would have been able to catch it. He was so close to getting that hit. He's conditioning him to jump so much, and he's finally able to catch him shielding uh, with that four leader. I think that either shield poke. Wow, what a fade back. Aren't <laughs> screw attack gonna kill? Gonna take the stock. <sighs> you gotta be careful when you're fighting uh, Samus on the ledge like that. Samus is able to get now some this pretty good stocks if you kind of play into her game. Wow. You go right into him, and we're still able to get an up B. I like the use of the missiles, I like the use of the charge shots that he's using to give himself a little bit more room. He had the right idea, but Samus, so tiny, was not able to get scooped up during her own. Uh, is Beast about to lose again? Is he about to lose control of this game? Oh, he read the jump and Beast did not give Beast it to him. Beast wants that grab. grab, Beast wants that grab. He starts dashing in and out, He's, you know when he wants it. Yeah, I don't think it's in a kill quite yet, but it's gonna be close. He had the right idea. He knew that he was going to fade back after the four leader. That was so smart on Beast's part. And yeah, I can't help but feel bad that he wasn't able to find it. I like Beast's looking for the last stock. He's really close. Oh, this might be it. Why did he do that? He could have gone up. He could have delayed a little bit longer. That was really nice on Beast's part, though. I'm not sure if that was the auto retract or what it was. But when you re-grab the ledge, you do have a certain amount of time where you're kind of stuck on the ledge and you're not able to do a ledge option. Uh, Beast really squeaking in the hit there. Uh, for tether characters, it's a lot harder to really get that punish. <sighs> and Beast's little uh, cheering squad uh, in the chat. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Beast... Beast, he's a man. If he can't mash, I mean, if he can't do it, no one can. No, no, but that was that was well played from Beast. He, I, I think Zach Canumbo's definitely got really greedy towards the end. Um, again, it's like a decent mix to go for to like try to drop down, shoot a projectile, and regrab. But when you got such a high percent on your last stock in a last stock last hit scenario, I mean, that is a risk. That is a massive risk to be taking. Yeah. There's the fact that like it's when you when you when you see like the match is slipping out of your finger, between your fingers like that, like it was for Beast, it's really hard to regain your composure and start coming back from that because he had the match pretty much set, but then he started getting smacked in the face, and he was on he was gonna be killed like any moment, and he barely like managed to squeak it out. Mm -hmm. I've lost count. It is 1-1. One, one. Yes? Yeah, it's 1-1. Uh, one, one. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Zach just going full on Samus. I respect it. Mm -hmm. I, I like the fact that he went through down to up there. It would have potentially, potentially like, linked into some stronger hits. Usually what's standard is like either down to a forward at low percent or down to a neutral. Or up there would have definitely yielded some stronger hits. Does he have a jump? Yes. Oh, wow. He's able to drift in far enough. And still be able to reach onto stage. Yeah, the screw attack actually has like a pretty decent amount of uh, the hitbox to block some of the flames, as long as you wait just long enough. Oh, baby, that was a really good forward throw from the ledge. Beast for one of the first. Okay. I don't know what to say about that. That was like that was really weird. You know, I, I really don't have any words for that interaction. 
That being said, he's looking for like the back hit of back hit, uh, back hit of neutral into a back hit, looking for something along those lines. Oh. oh, he's he alive though. He got hit with the sour spot of Samus's down air, and barely not killing Samus. She is a heavy boy, a heavy girl, a heavy girl. Yo, when he started throwing out those playbooks. <laughs> <laughs> and just like one hit just leaving 50% damage. Kind of crazy. And it's like against Samus, like you can't be secure in having any kind of loot against her because she does have like really crazy damage output. Mm -hmm. You just have to capitalize on, on the fact that she's really heavy. She might have a really linear recovery sometimes, even if she is able to stall off stage appropriately. Um, and really, like, <laughs> just don't get hit, five head. Um... <laughs> you just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. And then you'll never lose. Barely! Ah! Right, we just saw that, huh? We really just saw Flare Blitz barely miss. And then Beast... <laughs> Beast just jumped back into her arms. Oh my gosh, that's the first spike he's got in this set! Let's go. It's actually really not, uh, it was actually really good the way that he uh, slowly removed the amount of options that Zack had available until eventually he was able to just force him under the stage and get the uh, and get the down there. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Good out of shield, just catching the overextension with dash attack. <gasps> is that going to oh be gosh. it? Yes, that is. What a reversal at the end! That was yeah. definitely looking like the Zack's game. He was able to clean it up so quickly. Another extremely slow tech. Like, I'm sure Zack was ready to, to get the tech, but it just happened so slowly that it's like, Oh, I died. Cool. That's why you don't... Jeez. I just, I'm just looking back at the replay of that missed tech, and I'm like, man, that really killed. Wow. Mm -hmm. Dude, I love that jab jab in support, though. That was actually really good. Is that claiming that that was untackable? Uh, I don't know. Any, if there's any experts that uh that know anything I about I don't think so. I did not I, see any I mean, I'm looking at the replay now and Hello oh, we heard it was red and green. Huh? It was wait, really? I think overall it was techable. Yeah, yeah, it was techable. Okay. <laughs> A lot of people are actually arguing with that. <laughs> That was sackable. Okay, thank you, Devin, for the uh, for the info drop. There's just some, there's just some, um, there's just some hitboxes that like, there's some times when you get stage spike and it happens so slowly that you're like, I definitely like, press tech. You just did it a few frames too early, and that's why you died. If you've ever played Guitar Hero and you've like played it long enough, where like playing expert is totally fine and totally easy and stuff like that. Then you play easy and you go, what is happening? Because you keep Why doing it. Floating? You keep doing it beforehand, and then you're just like, God damn it. Yeah, because you're used to a specific rhythm. The same thing happens with like DDR. You can Three, two, one, go! All right, so uh, <laughs> so now we're at Yoshi's, which is very a very interesting choice overall, honestly. And the fact that Zack is staying uh, Samus, I kind of appreciate it. Definitely like Samus. Uh, I don't hate her that much. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, what are these throws? Bro, it just went in! Dar is speechless. She has nothing to say. <laughs> Bro. What is going on? I, I, 
Have you noticed the fact that I haven't said anything in about a minute? Yes, I did notice that. I questioned it. We're just smacking each other in the face over and over again. Also, well, Lyric asking the pertinent question. Why would you take Charizard here? Like, the fact that he can bonk his face into the bot into the stage oh. is kind of a huge asset. Gonna be taking stocks, mad easy. Back, go back. It might be, might be happening sometime in the near future. Yeah, almost killing them, but whatever. I mean, despite that not so great start. Um, yeah, despite the not so great start, like it's actually pretty even overall. Uh, Beast is still like has a little bit of an advantage because he's playing a heavier character. This could turn any second to be just completely upside down. Oh, and fourth throw is going to make it. All right, this is a uh, Zach Storm stock. If he loses this one, that's gonna be it. We can't. There's no take backsies. No take backsies. No take backsies. Yeah. He's just gonna even it up with a full charge shot. Yeah. And it oh my it gosh. Stop. He stuffed out the shot. Fight me, fight, fight. Oh my gosh, why would you change? That was an up smash. Apparently, uh, Ivy's up smash is like 30 frames almost. Charge. Yo, Beast is trying to get that last hit. That was such a good down tilt. That was so smart. I love it. Oh no! It's you so close. That back this could honestly like go either way. I mean, I've seen Beast choke these. I've seen Zach clutches. I've seen this go either way. I've seen Beast still consistently, you know, be able to secure the victory, yep, that's and that's it. gonna be it. Xeno Wi-Fi, number 15, <laughs> gonna be going to the Beast after, you know, going from Winner's Side Grand Finals, getting Bracket Reset, going to a Game 4, he was up 2-1, finally winning. I cannot believe, <laughs> I can't believe how this went. Zach like with GG's dude, I'm really hoping. Yeah, you know, say what you will about Zach, he plays some characters that I am not really a fan of. Uh, but he does like play. He does play a lot of characters. And he's actually really competent with a lot of them, and he's really good with some too. Like his Samus is actually pretty clean. Mm -hmm. You know, Beast's uh, aggressive play is still like so so good. Yeah. Congratulations to Beast for getting first and Zach for getting second. Mm -hmm. Um. And I think we had a uh, pink cage was our first is the first time that he got top eight. Congratulations to him in the chat. Oh yeah, woo woo. Uh, <laughs> what was that? That was a that was a woo yeah woo hoo. Oh okay, I was like woo yeah woo woo. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Zeno Wi-Fi. We really appreciate it. Uh, 